Hello and welcome to the video with me, Winner and Trade. Pick up where we left off last time, where I started off by going after Luxembourg and Netherlands. Do those, take both of them over. But while I was getting ready to do those wars, the Ottoman Empire decided to go to war with the Entente again. Which, of course, they end up dragging in all my allies over here. And, uh, yeah. I have. After I dealt with those two there, I joined in on the war, considering while I was fighting Netherlands and Luxembourg there, I was building up more of an army on my borders with France and Russia, so I could actually fight and everything. And yeah, man, let's get it all done in one episode. Mainly due to the fact that the Russian Empire capitulated a lot sooner than I was expecting them to. But uh, yeah, results of the war! Took the rest of France, basically. They literally only have this little bit of land right here now. And that's there in Africa. Also got Tenensia as a vassal now as well. And also got Britain as a vassal once again. And the Ottoman Empire has not stolen them from me this time around. I'm pretty sure I should have had Brit Finland as a vassal, but eh. Guess that got bugged in the peace still. And they also took more lands from Russia along here, and kind of just went all the way up to there, just because, yeah, I'm going to annex those vassals at this point. And of course, going to be annexing Belgium now, considering there's not much of a point in keeping them around anymore. And I, of course, will be trying to annex Britain as well. Considering, uh, yeah, I don't want to be fighting Britain again. I don't have to do a third naval invasion of Britain. Considering, I will continue landing over here. And each time I do it, it's going to be a bit of a pain to take London each time. Considering they always have a ton of troops there. But I, of course, will have to fight another war with the Entente eventually. And, yeah, just don't want to have to deal with Britain again. Considering at this point, for the most part, the Entente is just Russia and Britain. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I guess I will kind of just get things started here. First off, by doing something about all my troops around here and everything. So, I want to kind of just group them up right now. Make it easier to move them around to where I want them. I'm not really sure if I want to line troops up on Spain's border or not. And really, at this point, really looking at things, I honestly wish Spain did not have those two provinces still. Considering that makes the border here much nicer. Yeah. But I also have all this stuff here to deal with now. Move those, tr all these troops over there. And these troops can go over to Amsterdam. Guess all those troops are basically going to be just sitting over here just in case for now. And over here, well... I got quite a few troops. And I will pull them all back for a moment. So I can once again group them up the way I want them to easily. Okay, so I have some troops in over there. Still, sure. Otherwise, the rest of them are right there now. Okay. Sure. And if I can get around to it, I will be taking Gord Denmark and Switzerland in this episode as well. I guess that also includes Liechtenstein, just because they're there. So, um, yeah. For the most part, I'm not really going to be doing tons, unless I, all my plans here get interrupted by like another war with the Entente or something. So, uh, yeah. To start things off here, I kind of just want to build up money for the most part. 
so I can easily deal with province ability and stuff. Which I kind of forgot I already have to do all this from that horse still. Yeah, this is going to be a long time spent on all this. Okay. The Ottoman Empire has now gone to war with the Prussian Empire. Uh, well, I'm not getting involved in that. Oh, wait. The Ottoman Empire is the one defending this time. Okay. Serbia and Prussian Empire created a coalition against the Ottoman Empire. Well, okay. Well, that's going to be then Serbia then. Which, to be honest, is something I've actually was wanting to happen. Let's get rid of Serbia. There. Also, the rest of these countries around here. It's just so I have the entirety of the Balkans on my side. Huh? Why'd the Persian Empire also go to war with the Entente? Oh. Oh. Because Egypt's a part of the Entente. <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. The Ottoman Empire got Egypt as a vassal. And Egypt's a part of the Entente, so... The Persian Empire also has to fight the entirety of the Entente as well. Well. Okay. So the Prussian Empire is basically at war with the entirety of Europe. With an exception to me. Because I don't want to get involved in it. Personally. Yeah. Serbia is also in the same situation, but they haven't they haven't got that far involved, I guess. Actually, yeah. Okay. They picked the wrong fight there. To be honest, I guess anyone that goes to war with anyone in the Alliance here is going to be to war with the Entente as well. But the only exception are going to be members of the Entente themselves. Yeah, they really picked the wrong fights there. Okay, so that should basically be all my, uh, province built to there done. So I should finally be able to actually do some stuff here. You know what? I don't have any complaints about these wars. Or here with the Prussian Empire. Prussian Empire, I mean. Yeah, I don't really have much in the way of complaints here. Russia... Did a good job with their border there. The Ottoman Empire thing. Empire. Well, it'd be nice if the Ottoman Empire got those, but overall, don't really have a problem. Britain got that stuff there and south. That kind of goes well, considering the fact that they do still have that. So, that works. So, overall, yeah, pretty good. Bulgaria got the majority of Serbia over here, but they do still have those two provinces that are kind of just separated, which is very annoying. I was hoping that Bulgaria would just get the entirety of it themselves, but yeah. Mm. But uh, yeah, while I was doing all that stuff, I have actually got some troops lined up and everything. Got 4,000 along this entire board here with France and Switzerland. 3,000 on Spain's border. And also 5,000 on Russia's border. So, to start things off, let's deal with Belgium. And annex them. There we go, that looks much better now. 
But before I actually do anything else, I think I should probably actually just build up some money first. So I don't have to go turn by turn to do more. This is like a boring turn or whatever. Okay. For some reason, Lithuania is the one vassal I have that actually likes me the most. Other two over here don't really like me very much. But, eh, whatever. Goodbye, Lithuania. Now, Latvia, you're next. Currency 50 million is not enough to do all Latvia there. Estonia is not going to cost as much. Considering they're much smaller than both of those two. Yeah, there we go. Good. Okay. Very nice. So. Nothing else has really happened, has there? Let's see. Yeah, no wars at all. Good. Okay. So. Um. I think France will have some kind of army at this point. I kind of just want them to do this and take over that little bit of Algeria. Right quick. So, uh, besides that, I now want to... Do I want to go and deal with Britain right quick? Because that would cost quite a bit of money to deal with all 300 provinces that they now have. Hmm. Okay. I'm not sure. One thing I definitely do want to do is get some troops over here to deal with Denmark. Can they attack from there? I honestly have no idea. I guess I can fit troops there just in case. All the rest of them just head over here. To stop them from moving troops around quickly. Hmm. Really? You couldn't even take over the... All of that? Jeez. Okay. Sure. Now, let's go ahead and deal with, um, Tim over here. Oh yeah, they also have all that. Got. They are all 55 provinces. Yeah, they could attack from that one. Good. So I got that handled. Nice. They could also attack from there, of course. Oh boy. Okay. Sure. Can't even get over to the other islands there. Wow. Okay. They apparently already wiped out the 20,000 troops they had there. Jeez. Well, this is basically the end of Denmark already. Now I have to go over here and do this. Actually finish things off apparently. Because taking Denmark itself apparently wasn't enough to actually get them to capitulate. Now let's come over here and take all this as well. For some reason they have ports over here on this side of Iceland, but not over here in Reykjavik. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm pretty sure at this point I just need to take Reykjavik. Or just a little bit more land. Wow, not a single port over here. 
Okay, there we go. He apparently had another ports there as well. Okay. We actually had a few ports over here. Not one in Reykjavik for some reason. Weird. They lost nearly twice as many problem troops as I did. Okay. Okay, Romania is getting ready to go to war with Greece, huh? Okay, sure. I apparently have a hundred thousand, one hundred million there now, and still don't actually have inflation. Wow. Also, the diseases for this, for some reason, kill a lot of people. I noticed some of these areas were, yeah. Nearly a third of the population in this province got killed. What's with the diseases in this mod? No idea. Okay, there we go. Apparently we needed over a hundred thousand over 100 million to do all that for just Denmark. They only had 55 provinces. Britain has 300. How much money am I going to need to deal with all the provinces built to you with Britain? No idea. Awesome. Just saying, it's very nice saying that there is no events in this next area for the mod here. For Greece joining the Entente. There is only one for Italy joining the Entente, considering. Yeah! If Greece was part of the Entente, we would be at war with them again here. So, yeah, very nice thing that they aren't. So, let's see. Uh, my other things I actually have plans now are Switzerland and Britain. That's it. I don't have anything else planned at all. Huh. Austria-Hungary doesn't have very good relations with me for some reason. Seriously, you kind of have to feel a bit bad for any of the countries that actually have to fight anyone in my alliance. Considering they instantly get... It's basically a death sentence. Considering the fact that they also have to fight the Entente. Huh. Well, okay. All that's left of Greece now are the islands. That's it. France, can you finish off Algeria? There you go. Good. Finally. So... I honestly really do want to deal with Britain. I'm pretty sure I do actually have inflation considering the amount of money I'm getting each turn is going down. Yeah. Nearly 3% inflation. Great. Nowhere near as bad as the United States currency though. I'm not lie. Hmm. Uh, let's see. I want to take over Switzerland. I don't actually have enough troops to line up the rest of my troops on the border once I do, though. That's saying, if I, even if I still had all these troops, I would only be able to go to there with them. I still need another 12,000 for those three. Which is nice that I have those 12,000. But, yeah, I'm going ahead and need some more for that. Austria, Hungary, and the Ottoman Empire split Crete, huh? Yeah, that's. Yeah. That's honestly annoying. A bit. Seriously hate some of the borders that are going on now. Even with all the lands Italy is lost over here, they're still six strongest in the world, huh? The uh, economy kind of rivaling the United Kingdom's. Great Britain's there. 
though they have half the population. Oh, there's still a hundred point difference there. Cuts the population basically and prestige. Hmm. But yeah, Russia is the only real threat at this point to anyone in the alliance. Huh. Okay. So. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do this. No. Okay. Okay. Well. They merely declared independence doing that as well, huh? I don't want to fight another war with the Entente already. Kind of want to have a little bit of a break from that. So, fine, Britain. Fine. Okay. But since you refuse that, Switzerland gets invaded right now. Okay, Britain? That's what happens when you refuse me. More countries will fall. And Switzerland has nearly fallen already. It's basically just a matter of time until they do now. Just take a few more provinces and it should be done. I should probably go ahead and start sending these troops over here. There we go. And this is basically all Britain's fault that Switzerland got taken over now. Because I would not have done this already if it wasn't for the fact that Britain refused to be annexed. Switzerland would have been taken over later. Okay. There we go. That's all the troops ready and everything, basically. Just gotta finish lining them up. But it's very clear that I'm going to need uh, more troops, considering the two gr groups of 12,000 troops Italy has on the border there. But for now, that's basically everything. Also, Lichtenstein, goodbye. So. Britain? Britain, what in the world did you do? Why are you red? Huh? What? It didn't change government type or anything. What in the world did they do? That caused them to change color. Huh. Okay. Sure, whatever, I guess. But yeah, let's go ahead and put some more troops over here. Hmm. I have 2,000 troops in each one of those, so that should be 6,000 in each of those now. I'm not sure if I want to increase the troops that are here on France's border. Considering, well, I don't think France is really going to have much that they can really do. I guess I can go ahead and build some watchtowers so I can actually see how many troops some of them have around here. Don't need any more troops on France's border. I don't need any more on Spain's border. Doesn't really look like it needs any more on Russia's border either. Okay. So. 
Let's just send all the troops back to Amsterdam. Recruit a few more troops in Copenhagen just to keep that area occupied. There we go. Those troops will be just stationed over here for the next invasion of Britain. And over here, I need to prepare a bit more. I think I need a lot more troops over here, I feel like. Or I just have a lot of troops to go straight over here to attack Finland. One of the two. I have a lot of troops over here to get to St. Petersburg very quickly. And then go over here turn into Finland, or just have a bunch of troops go straight over here and attack Helsinki or something. One of the two I need to get ready for. Okay. Maybe a few more. There. Basically, I have just 50,000 sitting there. Okay, good. And Italy has for some reason reduced the amount of troops on the border here. Okay. They have a weirdly large amount sitting around San Marino there. While wow, they apparently don't really have much around here or something. I'm only able to actually see all their troops due to the fact that, uh, have good relations with them. So, let's see. Should probably build some watchtowers. To make sure I can actually see everything. There still. When the next war starts. Well, good thing I prepared for this already. Seriously, very good thing I have everything fully prepared. So, third war of the Entente. This should be very easy. only thing that could be bad about this is the fact that it is possible that Egypt could call the Ottoman Empire into the war themselves on the Entente side. And that would be a problem, because that would mean having to fight the Ottoman Empire. But, uh, yeah. Let's save the game. Alright, it's there. Why are you sending all these troops away from your border? When you literally just went to war with Italy. Huh? Now I understand. That's what's going on. Sweden and Austria-Hungary formed a coalition against Finland. Austria-Hungary sending all those ships up there because they went to war with Finland and not the rest of the Entente. Okay. Sure. Okay. Well, great. I'm not joining this war right now. Let's go to the next turn. Let the game save here. There we go. Well, that is it. I am not continuing this right now. I've not really done very much besides annex vassals in this video, and also take our, well, Denmark and Switzerland, and 
fell to Annex, Britain, in which they for some reason turned red for, for some stupid reason. But, uh, yeah. Third War with the Entente next video, I guess. Yeah. Great. Oh, boy. The Ottoman Empire really fucked up. Ah. They're at war with everyone. Yeah. And to war with the Entente and my alliance. No, they're not at war with the Aust Austria Hungary yet. Hmm. Well, as long as they don't cause too much trouble for Bulgaria, Romania, and everything, yeah, that's not going to be a too much of a problem, I guess. At least for right now. Where is the actually have good relations with the entirety of the Entente, basically? Have good relations with Russia and Britain. Italy, kind of France as well. Wait. Okay. Austria Hungary got kicked out of the alliance as well because of that. I forgot about that. Egypt asked the Ottoman Empire to join the war against Austria Hungary. They accepted while also accepting Austria's Hungary. Thing, Austria's hungry thing for joining the war against Finland or something. So, because they end up war going to war with each other, because the Ottoman Empire being stupid, they both got kicked out of the alliance here. Okay. Well. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to do something about that next video, for sure. Definitely going to have to do something about that. I'm not exactly sure about some of this stuff, but yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, that there is going to be the end of this video. And yeah, I'll figure all this stuff up next episode, I guess. But yeah, that's the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'll see you all next one. Bye-bye. Uh,